You are the one girl Do you know that it's true? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So I have a video on this look right here And if you can't tell by the title, this is actually a £20 makeup challenge So this whole face actually came to less than £20 Came to £19.20 Which is just under Yeah, I actually quite like it so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So to start off with, I am going to moisturise because I'm going out after I film this. So I'm not including this in the price of the makeup because technically, that foundation, moisturiser is not makeup. So it's not cheating. And to moisturise I'm using Olay Beauty Fluid and this is for combination skin. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put some of this on. So I have recently switched from using the L'Oreal Triple Active um, moisturise every day to this and I've actually really been enjoying this my skin's been really feeling really really soft and my skin has actually quite kind of like improved a little bit but that might be because I have switched up my skincare routine I'm gonna start with brows because they are just looking on another level of just horrendous because I was running really tight with money I didn't actually have enough money to buy anything for my eyebrows so I kind of had to look for eyeshadow that I could use on my eyebrows as well and I found this from MUA and this was £3.50 so it comes with six matte um, shades I think I'm going to mix this one and this one is it that what those two? yeah those two together on my brows I am scared this is going to be a little bit too dark but it's literally the best I could find so we're just going to go with it and see what happens, hope for the best because I actually have got to go out after this, worst comes to worst I'll just take the brows off and redo them but hopefully it looks okay. Um, so yeah I'm just going to mix them two together and just start filling in my brows <sighs> which are looking absolutely terrible. Just zoomed in a little bit so you can see more clearly so yeah I'm just going to literally just like tap it in, tap it in there because okay wish me luck guys. <laughs> Haven't got an opinion yet. I mean, it's not looking too bad, I think. Let's finish this battle and we'll see. That's not actually too bad. Maybe a little, a little bit dark, and some places not filling in properly. That's not actually. I thought it was going to be worse than that. Why does this happen? Oh, this fire um, thing today. This actually happens in nearly every video that I film. So that's the brows done. They are looking a bit sluggish, a bit dark. But they will do. I'm gonna move on to eyes now. You can see all the veins and nastiness there. I'm gonna be using a Collection Last and Perfection Concealer in Fair. I used to use this a lot when I was younger, um, but I moved on to the Maybelline Fit Me. And then so by this, I actually can't really remember if I liked it or not. So we'll find out today. But I know a lot of people do like this. Um, so this was one, this and the foundation was like what I spent the most money on because I did want them to actually be half decent because I do want this to look half decent. So yeah, I'm just going to conceal there. I'm going to bend that out with a beauty blender from Primark. I think I do prefer the Maybelline, did I say my mom before I meant Maybelline? Um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for the eye base. And to set that so the eyeshadow blends smoothly, I'm going to be using this powder from MUA and I got this in translucent because I didn't want it to be too light or too dark and this was only £1 so I don't know how this is going to be, we will see. Using the MUA palette I'm going to take this shade here for my transition shade. Sorry if the lighting like changes around. I've got my windows open so it's natural lighting and I can't control the sun well 
what there is of the sun. Okay, now I'm just going to take this shade right next to it and run this through my crease. So there probably were like better eyeshadow palettes I could have got but um, I just went into the super drug after work which is like our drugstore in um, England and just picked up like the best what I could find there. Outer corner I'm just going to be taking this darker shade right here. I'm just going to put that like right in there and blend it into the crease a tiny bit. I'm going to take this pinky shade and put this on the rest of my lid. I'm going to clean this up. So hopefully it'll make it look a little bit better. So for foundation, I'm using the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I do actually really like this foundation, so I'm so glad it's really cheap. It's normally £6, but Maybelline are, um, have an offer for two two items for £10, so I got this and the Adri Wine Concealer, so this was only £5. I do have this foundation in um, the shade 220, which is my colour for when I'm fake tanned. I didn't actually have it in my normal skin colour shade, so now I do. Maybe they've actually come out with a load more new shades, which is so good, because now you can like literally like match your um, colour up perfectly. So I got the shade 105. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be okay, not too light or too dark, because I'm quite pale at the moment, but yeah. Oh my god! If you haven't um, tried the foundation, I do really recommend it because it is really, really nice. Okay, that is really good, that is a really good match. I really do hate being pale but I just really can't be bothered to fake tan at the moment because I've got nothing like really like planned well I'm going on Saturday so I might actually fake tan for that but like I haven't really had anything planned like any okay I got that on my eyebrow I'll sort that out later I haven't really had like anything planned um so I just haven't really been bothered because I don't really see the point in doing it if I'm not going out. She looked like a ghost. Nothing. A bit of bronzer will not sort out. Conceal and highlight using Last Imperfection um, in Fair, which I used earlier. And this, I forgot to say, this is £4.19. I'm really, really brighten that up. This is literally going to make me even paler. Which is great because I love being pale. Just using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend this all in. I actually quite like this concealer. I do prefer the um, Maybelline Fit Me one. But this is nice. I like it. Take the MUA powder again and just press this in on my, under my eye so it doesn't crease. Set in the rest of my face with this as well. Powder's okay for one pound, obviously. Not the best powder, but for one pound, not bad at all. Time to add some colour back into this very pale face of mine. So for bron bronzer, I'm using the Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit by Revolution, and this comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. So I'm going to be using all three of these, and this was three pound fifty. Okay, let's give this bronzer a go. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this on my around my forehead, down my temples. I actually do quite like this. It's not too bad actually. I'm going to be using the blush from this palette as well. It's quite nice actually. It's quite sheer. It's not too um, like intense. I really, really like that. 
highlight i'm going to be using the one from this palette okay let's see how that looks it's very white i'm actually quite impressed with this for £3.50 it's got really nice pigmentation and a really really nice glow actually but i just wish it wasn't as white there is another one of these palettes but it didn't have a blusher in it it's like a darker um shades so the highlighter in that might be a bit darker actually which might actually be like quite nice Ooh, I might actually put a little bit of this on my lid and use it as my inner corner highlight as well. Yes. Let's try it on the inner corner. It's alright, not the best inner corner highlighter. For some reason it's not really like up here i'm just gonna take these two darker shades here and just kind of like push that like into um line where eyeliner would be because i didn't have enough money to get eyeliner i'm just gonna mix this one and this one and run that along my lower lash line i'm just gonna take that lighter transition shade and just um kind of like smoke that out and blend it out a bit so I didn't actually have enough money to get any um, mascara which is annoying because now I haven't got but, um, lash mascara, I didn't really think this through maybe I could have got one for 80p but I doubt it but I did manage to get eyelashes instead because I think I'd rather have eyelashes these are the eyelashes I got, they're just the full look ones by Primark and these as you can see were only a pound I'm just going to go pop those on and I'll be right back I think the lashes have literally made all the difference to this look. They've really just like pulled it all together. I actually do quite like the eye makeup, like the combination of the colours actually. It's quite nice. So lastly for lipstick, I got this one from MUA and this is in the colour Fawn Fancy and this is one of their matte ones. And this was also one pound. Oh, well, this is really not easy to apply. Colour's nice. And I miss your love, and I need your love. But I mean, it's not very like pigmented. I'm pushing down really, really hard with this. Oh, get out of my face. And it doesn't feel too nice on my lips either. It's quite thick, to say the least. But I can tell my lips are going to be like suffering really really dry so this is the finished look using all drugstore products and that 19 pound 20 full face apart from mascara and eyeliner but still full face i am actually really really impressed like the eyeshadow actually looks really nice like i would like wear this out on a night out or like for an evening out so the highlight is nice a bit white i would prefer a darker shade but it's good the lips this is my lips do not feel good like I can't wait to take this lipstick off, it does not feel nice at all. I mean, it was a pound, so I can't really complain. I really hope you enjoyed this video of me doing the £20 makeup challenge, and that showed you that you don't need to spend loads and loads of cash on really expensive makeup to have a nice full face of makeup. Um, yeah, so remember, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing my next video. Bye!